Make me sad. <laughs> hey, what's going on? It's Boss Britt the Most Lit. What's up, it's your girl DJ Excel? And this is the No Homo Show. Where everything we talk about is homo as Hey, make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment. My hair long as fuck. I can't even see y'all right now because my hair. Y'all, is she just... purposely flips it to the front to make it look like it's in front of her <laughs> eyes. Nah, this is real shit right here, y'all. <laughs> Shout out to all our Spotify listeners, um, Apple Podcasts. If you don't know, we are on there. So Yeah, and keep getting that merch, y'all. We do get all of our merch restocked. It might be gone by now, but we did restock for y'all. So make sure y'all go to our website, thenohomoshow.com, and get y'all merch, okay? Yeah, and we working on a Black Friday special. Ooh. But we'll, we'll wait to tell y'all about that. Yeah, we got a special guest in the building. We already okay. been talking hell of shit behind the cameras, y'all. But just in case people are clueless, right? They don't know who the fuck is up here today, right? Please let them know who you are and what you do. Um, am Miss Isha Beauty from Jocelyn Cabaret season four. Mm-hmm. Wow, she sound real nice. So she ain't sound nice she like that to, when yeah. the camera. Let me is let good. me just have my way though. Oh, okay. Let me have yeah, my not way. Not too okay? much. Not too much. Not too much at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't do that. Yeah, period. Nah, but welcome to the show. Yes. We definitely appreciate you today. We was talking behind the scenes about Melissa being our business partner and how we was talking to her about getting you on the show and all that. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. She had nothing but good things to say about you, so just know you're doing... Was it good? It was yeah. good. Oh, okay. It was all good. So just know you're doing your thing. And congrats. We about to do a lot of gay shit up here today, though. A lot of gay shit. I'm okay with it. Yeah, okay. you should be, all right? So the first thing we're going to do is a game, all right? It's called Skittles and Riddles, okay? Mm -hmm. So you got a Skittle bag right there, all right? So what you got to do... Oh, you want to say this? Girl, do your thing. You killing oh, it. All right, all right, I'll all right. tell you. I'll tell yeah, you. Huh? All right, so you're going to pick out your favorite color, Skittle, 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 all right? And then you're going to read um, the question inside, all right? The riddle inside, and you got to get it. If you get it wrong, you got to take a shot. Mm hmm But... <laughs> red flag, red flag. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a red flag, y'all. I love it. <laughs> So re read it out see. loud and tell us the number it says on there. So, because we don't it know the answer. It is number seven. Okay, because we don't know the answers neither. What's a lesbian favorite contest? Something about scissors. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, I love it. Rock, paper, scissors. That sounds about right, right? <laughs> That's a good gay. one, though. That's a good one. Yeah. All you right. got the answers? You got the answer? <laughs> you got the key, the key, the key. <laughs> <laughs> you want to guess? Because you, you're like, right. you yeah. I want to say, um, um, <laughs> favorite contest, tongue twister, <gasps> tongue twister. That's a good one. The fuck? Is it? What does that I, even I mean? <laughs> Hide and seek. Hide go freak. <laughs> All right, y'all just being nasty. Y'all, okay. that's not my nuts. They ain't got nothing to do with a lesbian. I used to be playing daddy on that one. I used to be like, you the daddy. I, 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 I knew I was the stud. What is it? Okay. What the hell? Where is it at? <laughs> oh, okay. What's up, ladies? We are headed to Cancun, Mexico for my dog Boss Brit's birthday and a whole lesbian takeover in Cancun. We want to invite y'all out on vacation with us, and we also will be having a live no homo show. For more information, make sure you go to mostlitweekend.com because we outside. All right, we about to throw these fucking questions out. What is the it? Pie eating. Who the fuck came <laughs> up with this? <laughs> All right, Who the fuck came up with this? Pie eating. Man, eating. what the fuck? This dumb man. That Take a sip. <laughs> Get me drunk. Uh, uh, uh. Well, I'm wrong, so I'm gonna just take a sip. <laughs> yeah, we gonna get you some more say too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Woo. All right, that was fun. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta we gotta make up our own. He said, "Don't be over his." Oh my bad. <laughs> he said he poured he poured the last. He poured it like this. <laughs> Weak as fuck, yo. All right, good shit, good shit. All right, Egypt. So look, welcome to the show officially. That was like a little icebreaker. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank that was you. a horrible icebreaker. I hate this. Those game. answers. I want to do, <laughs> do another one now. Go ahead, do another one. You ain't gonna ever catch it. All right, all right. When you answer, we gotta think. What's a dumbass answer? Okay, that's basically, basically what, like corny at least. Yeah, like, corny, real dumb, yeah. stupid, okay. no sense, all of that. <laughs> this one say this number four. What's a lesbian favorite Pokemon? 
I ain't gonna lie, I'm black, and I was never into that. Like, so mm-hmm. I would never know. But it ain't, it ain't, so, it probably ain't a Pokemon that we would know. Some gay shit? Yeah. I feel like you used to be into Jiggly Pokemon. Puff, you, you went, Pikachu. I was about to say, I was gonna say, yeah, I, I was that's the only Pokemon. one I know, Pikachu. Look. You was chasing them with the app, babe. <laughs> I know. Which one would you guess? Oh, some gay shit, like. I'm trying to think, like, what's gay? Like, Jigglypuff? All right, Puff? what's stupid? Like, you don't even got to know. Jigglypuff. Pika Pikachu. Pika Pikachu. <laughs> the fact that this bitch really know him is crazy. She's funny. What, what number was it? was it? It was four. All right. What's this answer, bro? I'm about to be pissed. I'll, yeah. I, right. I want to know if it's really, like, a Pokemon. Yeah. Like, all... all right. Damn, this, this shit all out of order. <laughs> it out is out of order. order. All right. I set you up. I'm sorry. Okay. Keep your eggs out for us, though. Okay. My bad, because we don't want to mix them up. What is that? Squirtle? Oh, Squirtle. I know that one, too. That's the green one that look like the little turtle. Yeah, I know that. Squirtle. Y'all knew about Squirtle? Y'all I didn't know about Squirtle. I, why you ain't guess it? I mean, I'm not it's that. It's been a while. Like, the only one off the top of my head was Pikachu and Jigglypuff. I don't even know about Jigglypuff. I only thought about Pikachu. So. Yeah, that's the I don't actually know that one. Name. Ash, that's the dude. <laughs> wow, Squirtle, y'all should have guessed that. That was that was, that was That was right. actually okay. That was that's decent. Great. All right, take, take a sip. Yeah, we no. still gonna take it? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get started. You know what I'm saying? So the way that we start our show is it's with drinking. your coming out story, okay? <laughs> she said drinking. drinking. <laughs> Damn, mean. are we toxic? <laughs> we red flags toxic up here. Too. <laughs> it's fun though, right? <laughs> It's like a toxic fun, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're going to start with your I'm, coming I'm okay out story. Let us know how it was for you to come up out that closet. Um, <laughs> Why we always stress out everybody <laughs> with this question? I really just brought somebody home. Wow. Like to introduce them to yeah. your parents? I, I no, not really to introduce them. I just brought them home like I will bring a nigga home. I just mm. was like walking around with them. And then next thing you know, we kissed. Everybody was like. You kiss? Yeah. Is this in front of your parents? My grandma, my mom, my sister, my stepdad. You ain't warn them? No, but I think they already kind of knew. Like mm. it was a stud. Uh, at the time, yes. <laughs> they was whispering when you brought that stud in that house. Nah, you already know, cause bringing a stud around back then is like, I mean, I don't know how long ago it was. Was it recently or was it? Um, like, so was my it? okay, no, this was. I've my been bad. Gay since I was twelve. So. Okay. <laughs> but, um. So when I came out, I think everybody already kind of knew that I was like bisexual. Okay. So when I brought somebody, when I actually brought somebody home and we actually kissed, I don't think it was a shocker. Mm-hmm. It's really hard shocking my family. <laughs> so well, you be doing crazy shit all yeah. the time. With me? Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, I don't know. Like they, they was like, they didn't care. They didn't yeah. care. My family not like a judgmental family. Mm, so like good. they didn't care how old were you um i think the first time i brought the girl home i was like 17 18. oh okay yeah, so. it was a good age so. yeah kissing in front of them for the first time though is crazy yeah i remember like when i brought like my first girlfriend and my mom knew that was my girlfriend like yeah. i was outside like like giving her like a watermelon or something <laughs> and my watermelon. mom not was she black yeah oh, that's black? racist hold on was she black, black. <laughs> i said was she black <laughs> <That's> racist <laughs> So you knew she wanted water. Why you feeding that lady watermelon? Like, <laughs> bitch, we was kids. First of all, I eat watermelon. But anyway. <laughs> she my anyway, we know. I was I was feeding her something. And my mom called me and like, don't do that in front of me. Bitch, and nobody knew you was looking out the window nah, washing dishes. How old was you? Probably like 16. Oh, okay. That ain't that big. <laughs> you ugly. You, so you a lover boy. That's so cute being watermelon. Like, I ain't feeding nobody so I was grown. Unless it was a baby. <laughs> right. You was next level. I'm with her. Grow up. Was it an airplane? At least like an air. Uh, uh, <laughs> grow up. Grow up, bitch. Why would I do that? I'm fucking crying. Yo, y'all. Wow. I ain't mad about it. I ain't mad about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking weak. So when you first Did came you get out, her? Uh, huh? Was Did you get her? Did I get her? Yeah, the girl. Oh, that you was feeding watermelon to. That was my girlfriend. Oh, okay, I brought dude. her home. Yeah. Say so I had her in the back. Yeah. <laughs> she was <laughs> mine. Okay. And period. put it out for trash. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ooh. Make me sweat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's crazy because I actually was going to ask you about that. Like, okay, so we're going to get into stuff before the cabaret. Okay. Okay. So before that, when exactly did you get into dancing, into that scene? Um, When I was 18. 
I started dancing. I was I started be like stripping and stuff. I mean, I always dance. I'm a black girl from the hood, so like we always dance. <laughs> what type of stereotype? <laughs> I'm just saying, like y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, you do do dances. I knew a few dances and some cheers too. You know See? cheers? See? Yeah, I knew cheers, bitch. You I used know? to play football and go to cheers. Right. <laughs> You know the little Sally Walker she and shit. Was, she like, come on now. Double dutching. You got to dance with that shit. Like, So what, what city are you from? I'm from Michigan, Kalamazoo, Michigan, I should say. I'm from all the way. From the Midwest. There. The Midwest, period. Yeah, that's where I'm from too. Midwest, G-Way, you know what I'm saying? So when you started dancing, you were already into girls, right? But you were bisexual at the time? Yes. Okay, so then it really wasn't... Because I always think about, you know how it is for women who are into women that dance in a club it's, with nothing but with, with niggas. the best. Yeah. What makes it the best? Because if you, okay, so I used to date a girl that was stripping with me. Mm. So we hit these niggas up together. Mm. Mm. They used to love that, huh? Yeah, like, you know, <laughs> two, look at you. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. No, she got excited. Hey, I support it. It was a, it was a, mm. <laughs> Brittany, put it in your pants. <laughs> Brittany, oh my gosh. No, Brittany, just don't call me Brittany. Don't call me it Brittany. was her. <laughs> my bad. It was her. No, because I support the naked hustle. And I, I just love seeing film on film. It's something about it. And y'all really, no, I Maybe could see sweat. how, like, can you let that song my bad. go? Right, my fault, my fault. She can't. I can't see how that could be a crazy hustle. Because it's like, yo, yeah. we tag teaming, we finessing the fuck out of them. We making it, well, we can be on each other. And guys love that in the strip club, like girl on girl. It was yeah. normal for us. I mean, we together. So, like, we put on a show. Whether it was fake or, you know, it's an illusion in the club. But it is. We really is into each other, so it's make it easier. It made it easier, yeah. Yeah. That is true, because that's why I had to stop going, because I was falling in love too much. I'm like, you got to remember that. They playing yeah. with you. Y'all learn. Like, we don't be playing, me. though. We really be trying to get to the back. <laughs> oh, really? you right about that, because this bitch got to the back. We really be loving you. No, like, We she, really be loving you. She made me feel quick like. Quick story. Quick story. <laughs> I, we probably said it before. We was in, we was in uh, we was Miami. Tootsies. Tootsies, right? Britt left for a minute, right? I love Tootsies, too. She went upstairs with a jump. Right, so then I went to the private room on the, on the bottom. Yeah, she went so to the how, private room. Yeah, so yeah. she came down, and Britt was like, "Yeah, she." I ran out of money. She told me to go to the ATM. <laughs> Did she go? And the crazy thing is, like, she wasn't even really dancing a lot. It was no. like we was talking. Yeah. But that's how y'all make. And that's how she got my yes, dumb ass. Yes. That's the finesse, right? Because y'all like make y'all make make connection. Feel. I got a whole little book. What's the book? Give us like a tip. <laughs> yeah, a tip. give us a rules. No, I um. I'm, okay, so I started in a country club where it's more like golf, say not less <laughs> urban. I'm white saying man. like that more white men, uh, a lot of divorcees. That's right. You I know, a lot of um, men a that been be with their wives for a long time, but like won't, don't want to really cheat, but still want that like attention. Mm, so okay. it got to the point for me with like my regular customers, I would like write down stuff. So they would remember, I would remember what they would tell me. And that made it more personal for them. So when they come in, they tell me about their daughters and all of that. I'd be like, yes, how is, you know, Cassandra at, you know, Damn. dance class? I've been so. <laughs> yeah, she at home like, Where, you know? John, daughter, Cassandra. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly how it was for me. Yeah. So it's just like, and that made it more personal. So yeah. then they, it was more like, oh, it's a friendship. Right. I like her. You know what I'm saying? Then instead of. Every cute girl can dance, but I learned actually from uh, she to me she was like ugly, Ooh. you know. To me she was ugly, like the girl was ugly, but she say made the name. most money in the club. I say her name. She made uh, Shadow, but <laughs> when your name is Shadow, <laughs> all right, I ain't gonna say the right. joke because you already said watermelon. Whoa, we this like, wasn't a black joke. Oh my bad. I'm just saying shadow, like damn, your shadow. I wasn't. She just wasn't. I'm not talking about like her face. I'm just saying like her body wise yeah. compared to the other strippers, yeah. it wasn't up to par. You know what I'm finesse. saying? She walked it weird, like, but she <laughs> well, had walked it weird is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> in heels, we in heels. Yeah. Every girl can't walk in heels, and you, yeah. I know you would see some girls that can't walk in heels that yeah. wore it with heels. Yeah, when you see it. So like for her. But she made the most money in the club. And in my head, when I got in there as a newbie, I'm like, how the fuck? Yeah. Compared to 
But I see her back compared to, okay, like, it's not adding up. I want to know what she doing. When she told me her finesse, I'm like, oh, yeah, I can do this. I ain't going like, to lie. I went talk. to, like, one of those types of we got a club like that in Atlanta. What? It's it's more like predominantly white and old. Oh, men. you talking about Pink Pony? Not Pink Pony. It's another one. Cheetahs. No. Cheetahs is nice. Like it's like in too. the cut. But anyway, mm. it was a little awkward because I seen like girls like let's say like you, like giving old white men massages and shit. And I was just like, how do y'all bring yourselves to that? Cause they look like they got mad dandruff. <laughs> She's like, like yeah, I'm they I'm mean, I'm behind them. Like, no, I'm saying like, like just really. Put your arms <laughs> and just <laughs> and they give you two hundred dollars. It's very simple man. I'm just saying. <laughs> you put your hand out afterwards. They put your money in. Right. And you walk away. It, it, it sounds way easier than it look, y'all. <laughs> they do that in Tussies too, though. They give yeah, massages. Yeah, but I'm just saying it's just like nasty looking. Like. Oh, you, I, I understand what you're saying, but you get you get used to okay. that type of, and them be the, the they spend that money, <laughs> and you ain't really gotta do much, probably. The baby, look, I like the neck, they over there. The like, fun, see, when you, when you get a, when you get a, this is the thing about. I always liked it to be in clubs like that with like, I ain't gonna say people that's not rich or like fine looking, but when you come to like big clubs like Ace of Spades, Truth, or King of Diamonds and stuff like that. You messing with people with celebrities, you know what I'm saying? Right. So at the end of the day, you got to do so much. That yeah. makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like with those type of people, because they're used to the baddest of the bad mm -hmm. coming after them for and not really asking for much just to be around them. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. that's yeah. just how celebrities is. But you get to motherfuckers that's like not used to attention. Right. Not used to going through high school and being a virgin all the way up until they was 25 and they had to pay not to be a virgin. Damn. And then, I mean, think about it. It's men out there like that. That's crazy. Like, I know a virgin. Like, he's like 30 something years old. Wow. But at the end of the day, it's like he don't know how to talk to girls. He don't know how to approach yeah. them. He's a nerd. Like, he not that good looking. He's been living with his mama all day. So it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Living with a mama all day. <laughs> she crazy, bro. Not all day. Mama all day. Funny like, you know what I'm saying? But he don't know how to connect yeah. with no woman. Yeah. So he come in a club and he falls in love. And Stalk, he gives you his stalker. bag. And yeah. it's easier. It's way easier. <laughs> I like those kind of right. like those, those, those Marvins from Marvin from Players Club. See? That's or is it Melvin? One. Is it Melvin or Marvin? One of them. Mel, wasn't it? No, I think it was Melvin. It was Melvin Marvin. or Marvin. Yeah. I, think I ain't good with names. So yeah, I, she's but I had to think home. about it. But I'm like, is it Melvin? I yeah, think it was Melvin. That part was, was crazy. Follow but the Melvins. You know what I'm saying? Like, I come in when you ask me ask me to come in instead of like one bag one good night and yeah. then i never can get you to come back in mm. so i feel <laughs> that I mean, oh, girl, saying, mm. i feel that if you made it made sense right facts <laughs> so when you got onto the show jocelyn cabaret season four correct yes before that were you in the club or were you already transitioning from getting out the club and are you still in the club i'm in the club okay period get that back i'm in the club okay <laughs> so you was already in the club still in the club Decided to get on the show. All right, so what made you want to try out for the show? Um, my best friend. My best friend called me. And she was like, bitch. <laughs> she like, Jocelyn Cabaret got auditions. You need to go. Um, if you don't if you don't go, I'm going to sign you up, and we just going to take it from there. I'm like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, they probably just have it on, and they really already got their girls pick type Facts. shit. So I'm in my, that's in my head. Mm. So, like. She actually sent my video in. She kept being on my ass about it. Next thing you know, I got a ticket. I'm like, oh, I guess I'm going. <laughs> shout out to you, best friend. Yeah, 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 shout out to yeah. your best friend. Right. I'm crying. So what was the process like? Was it a long process? Like once you submitted, it took a little while for Yeah, you so like back? you had to submit the um, your video, like mm -hmm. a video saying like how, what you can bring to the show, basically. Yeah. And um, she actually chopped up videos from like TikTok and stuff. Yes, come on, best friend. Yeah, she like, bitch, you going? Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's what's up. I'll, thank you, best friend. But um, basically, you talk about my motherfucking phone. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> All right, so when people are in the line and all that good shit, is that like everybody got a ticket to come there or are they just, is it like open call type of thing? I think it was both. Look, okay. Key. I'm not even trying to be funny. Be hella because girls. I don't see how they would, uh, I'm going to say this, I didn't see how they 
like decided if we actually had tickets or not because they were like online email tickets. So So they didn't know. move you to the front of the line. No, no. Oh, damn. Absolutely not. How long was you in the line? Not long actually. Okay. Probably like thirty <laughs> minutes. To be oh, honest. okay, because I was not even that long. And it was a long ass shit. line. Yeah, I thought but y'all was there. Early. They got us in. No, I didn't uh. because I didn't get my ticket in the email the day of. Mm. And I almost didn't like find a flight because like I, I'm in Michigan. The the auditions was in New York, mm. so the ticket came and we trying to find a flight before 6 p.m. But they had the tickets in California time. So I'm thinking, oh, damn. I'm thinking like, we're not going to make it. Like, right. I'm not going to make it. Then my best friend like, uh-uh, girl, this is over here. Like, <laughs> It's over here. Yeah. You can find a, a flight. So I ended up finding a flight and we get, we got there like 20 minutes before the what they said to be there. But we end up still waiting like an hour. Yeah. So it didn't even really matter what time you got there because they was letting people in no matter what. Yeah. So. That's, That's crazy. Up. Same day. Did you feel like... When you were trying out for Jocelyn's Cabaret, like, what are you thinking you got to do to make the show? Outside of it look good. Because motherfuckers be doing the, the most. No, for real. I'm not even going to lie. And this is me being completely honest. Um, I didn't think I was going to make it. Yeah. I didn't think I was going to make it. I seen some crazy shit at that fucking audition. <laughs> I, I seen the bitch jump from one pole to the other. <laughs> like, like, it was like, like she was flying or some shit. I'm like, oh, yeah, bitch, you win. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was some crazy shit happening there. It was a lot of good dancers. I mean, I'm a good dancer, but I'm a finesser. Yeah, like, we heard. I'm not no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just being. <laughs> you messy, bro. Like, for real. Okay, <laughs> okay, like, my bitch. Like, no, but um, I'm in a strip club. I'm more of a finesser type yeah. of person. Mm-hmm. Like, I can't finesse you out your alimony. Your child support check. Your alimony is You're crazy. <laughs> You're Add me on your wheel, nigga. Add me on your wheel. You know, I, I've been in a nigga wheel before. Like That's crazy. So it's like, That's I know crazy. how to finesse my way. I'm a yeah. dancer. I, 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 I feel like I'm a good enough dancer. But yeah. when I was there with a thousand females, I'm like, okay, no, that bitch can dance. Yeah. That bitch can dance. Yeah. You know, that bitch look real good. So I'm... You know, I'm there, and I'm like, okay, well, bitch, you just going to give it all you got, yeah. shit. But <laughs> that's all you can do. We here now, bitch. We got here 20 minutes before. Might as well go on in. Shit, we already here. Baby yeah, swag. Yeah. yeah, exactly. All right. It's we got song. <laughs> what is wrong with y'all? She do this to me every time. She starts singing a damn song, and it goes on the whole episode. Hey, I don't know why she do that shit. crying. And did you watch any of the uh, previous seasons before you got on here? So you never Don't saw lie. the show. Don't lie. Childish. <laughs> Childish. I'm just asking. No, I did not. It's okay. No. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fire. Be right. Fire. I don't know how I fire her, but she's fire no, right now. Look, I asked that because like maybe you had an idea of what to do going in or how it would no. be going in. So you kinda went in blindfolded because you I was never... so blindfolded. I didn't even have Damn. no stripper heels, no stripper outfit. I didn't even have my makeup done. When I got there, I'm like Cause in my head I'm like, when you do an audition for something like for TV, I would think they want to see you like natural. You know oh, what I'm saying? Okay. Like you know what I'm saying? Like All right, so natural. I, went- I heard you natural. <laughs> Miss natural. <laughs> I'll be a petty and messy, <laughs> real petty, messy, messy it's more. <laughs> oh, she's messy. a child. She's yes, a child. Much so. <laughs> so I'm just. I went there very natural. Um, yeah. I. I didn't think that we were going to be in our stripper clothes because I'm like, okay, this is more like a cabaret. So I'm thinking like choreography. I'm thinking they gonna like have somebody do a dance and we gotta pick up on the dance. That's what I thought. She did not watch Johnson's cabaret. <laughs> at not all. At all. <laughs> they was in there. So what made you win? I mean, what made you get chose? I got chose last. Last. I was the last person to get chose. Damn. Yep. I'm trying to think if I remember it. So she chose her girls. Yeah. And then she was like ballistic. Melissa, get up here and choose some girls. Oh, right. Melissa chose okay. you. Melissa and Ballistic. I was okay, the last person. Mm-hmm. That's hard to say, <laughs> Melissa and Ballistic. Ballistic and Melissa. Melissa and Ballistic. Melissa and Melissa. And she, because I, it is crazy because I talked to her today and she was like, I ain't gonna lie, you surprised the fuck out of me because yeah. I didn't choose you. You know, Melissa and Ballistic chose your ass. And I'm like, yeah. And That's she was like, up. I didn't think you was gonna be able to pick up on the dances. Right. <laughs> Come on, underdog. She wanted me to do like some fighting shit. Yeah. Shut up. So, oh, be quiet. <laughs> she about to buy bitch. Okay. Right, because she was about to get it. Uh, oh, fuck you. I don't want no problems. Okay. <laughs> so when you went out to the show, because it seemed like you was like a chick magnet, right? So okay, did they already, chick magnet. 
Like, they already know you was in the girls. I feel like everybody was just kind of throwing a pussy at you. And I was like, did they know she's gay? Or? It was crazy. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? Um, I kind of always been like that, though. Um, she always get the vision. You give off that big, big no, energy. No, it's not that. I think, I think girls are attracted to confidence. Mm-hmm. Like, you could be the finest person in the room with the most money. And if you got, like, low confidence, I don't think a girl going to graduate you know, graduate themselves to yeah. you. So mm-hmm. it's like, if you got a lot of confidence and you carry yourself like you got big dick energy, you know what I'm saying? People graduate, you know, yeah. they come to you. They, they don't like, know you gay though. It don't matter. Like, mm. it, it don't All girls matter. are gay. I feel like all girls are gay. No, all I really feel that. Oh, well, at least any girl I want is yeah. gay. <laughs> Especially <laughs> girls who be in the club because at some point you're going to see a girl do some girl on girl shit. And not even they that do. i just feel like all girls are either curious enough to go down with the right person it just yeah. gotta be the right person right girl you know what i'm saying like so many girls say that shit like you gotta be the right person or just like <laughs> be gay i'm not gay but i'll I, be, I be gay for that person you know yeah. what i'm saying because it just it's, be like i'm so i don't know that. like I don't, I don't care what nobody say. If you suck a dick, you would eat a puss. I don't give a fuck. Like, wow. Is it, wow. Other, is it the other way around as no. well? No. I mean, okay. I, am I? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, no. cool. I'm saying that because. <laughs> Make oh, me they gonna be so mad when I say this. Say it. I just uh, feel uh, like uh. women are more cleaner than men. So if of you're okay, facts. if you're okay with sucking a dick, you okay. got to be okay with eating a puss. Yeah. Like. Something yeah. that you got in between your legs. Like, But some women, no, some women will fuck with a woman, but won't. Say I ain't eating no pussy though. Like the fake gay. And that's crazy. But talking about fake gay, right? <laughs> so uh I know on the episode like wet wet, whenever she would get drunk, she, she would get, act get, she get gay. She would act gay. <laughs> How do y'all feel about girls that y'all know not really gay, but act gay when they drunk? Is you with the shits or are you like, bitch, get up out my face? <laughs> I'm with the shits. <laughs> I don't take that bitch dog. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I like um, a I challenge. Like the game. I like okay. the challenge. You know, I like a bitch that tell me like, I never fuck with a girl. Like, so, okay. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll yeah see. I like. And then she's like, "Hey, man. take the shot. She's gonna do what you, you do. Like, Listen up. Listen no, up. I want you sober. <laughs> I want Ooh, you to tell that story. Right. I want you to tell that story. Once you get to the next day, you're gonna be like, I was so fucked up. I don't even remember what happened. What happened right? Yeah, no. Nah, no, we you remember drunk. it. Right. And we didn't take not one shot. Exactly. <laughs> a lot of people love to blame it on alcohol, but you know what you did. You know Stop acting like you ain't know. No, it's impossible. You know what the fuck you did. She love that fan, boy. She smacking the hell out of her legs at that joint. So, yeah, Egypt, I'm... who you took down in the house? I didn't take nobody down in the house. You, you sure? I swear. I'll put that on my kids. Oh, Not my even Miss uh, Miss Natural. I didn't take her down. I could have. Who would be the, who would be the, who would be the, like, how does film on film work? Like, do y'all, or just, <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out, is it still giving, Bigger. like, you know, somebody's the more dominant one, somebody's the more feminine one, or is it just kind of like, like it's in a like a fem, like yeah, like both two fems. Cause y'all I both don't really, give me like I don't really feel energy. like it's a like more of a dominant one. I think we just both be ourselves, and if you, we like each other, we just go act ourselves. Cause the more yeah. the moment I feel like you're trying to be like a boy, I'm gonna be like <laughs> I could just be with a stud or a nigga. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that's crazy. You. You a boy. I think I should sit there. <laughs> I just picture films just scissoring. <laughs> what you say? She is retarded. Do you? Mm. That word is canceled. Retarded? Bitch. You can't no. say it. No, I can you say whatever say I want, that. y'all. I'm okay with it. I'm, I'm not, not one of those you. woke people. You just <laughs> said you finesse a man out of his obituary or something. His will. He <laughs> wanted to be his finessed. Bro, <laughs> if obituary was mentioned, crazy. If she was missing in the obituary, that would be crazy. <laughs> like, what are your clients? I'll wild. be okay with that. And I'll be asking, look, I'll come in all white. That's Get the people. crazy. <laughs> Like Mary Jay, the Mary J. Chase. Yo. All right, so of the uh, cast, right? Who's mm-hmm. your, if you had to say, who's your favorite and your least favorite, and why? My favorite, mm-hmm. outside myself. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jocelyn. 
Oh, no, uh, the girls. She trying to, she trying to. Not Jocelyn, the yep. girls. Is you going to ask me why or are you going right, to just right, judge off bad, the bad, bat? No, you I can't know, say Jocelyn. Okay, no. I'm going to say another girl, but before she be I on do doing like all of that, got y'all before in the she be all of that, I'm going to say why. <laughs> Jocelyn got y'all in the choco. Y'all be the No, not at all. Not at all. Let's go viral. Jocelyn's actually funny as him. I mean, y'all, we watched the show because of Jocelyn, right? Right. But she's really funny as fuck. Yeah. And the thing is, like, she's naturally funny. It That's really Jocelyn. Jocelyn being Jocelyn. Mm-hmm. So it be like really shocking me because I know her now on a more personal level. Mm-hmm. And I'd be like, okay, this ain't just for the show. Like, this no, is we really know that really We've seen her yeah. a few times. So that's why it's just almost like wet wet to me. So that'd be my next person. Okay. People think wet wet is like that for the show. And me and her not even getting along right now. Mm-hmm. But I'm a real ass person. Period. She will be my favorite to watch on the thing because she really act like that in real fucking life. Yeah. It ain't just for the cameras. It's <laughs> really, bitch, this is really me. Like, I will really do all this shit on the bus, on the train. Yeah. Like, oh, I'll just going to, the, going to get a cigarette at the store. Like, this is me. She's like, so lit, bro. Like, and that's just her all the time. So yeah. when them cameras went off and we were just in the house, that's how Wet Wet really acted. Yeah. And I appreciate that because, I mean, that's the whole point of reality TV to get to know the person, right? The actual person, or yeah. we could just watch something scripted. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I said Jocelyn at first because I was like, that bitch is really funny. Nah, in real we life. know Jocelyn's a real ass bitch. Bitch, like for real, like we didn't, we didn't. <laughs> what? I don't know why she take a drink. I'm confused. No, we didn't been around her. We didn't <laughs> been around her a few times because Melissa's our manager, right? Right. So yeah. We've been around her, so we like yeah. people try to. Oh, like, I know what like she. That. I'm like, so that's no. that's why I what said she what I say. Said. Yeah, we yeah. know it's not just for TV. No, and yeah. we know she wild, and it even yeah. shows her getting arrested and shit in real life. Like we know this really, you you not she, doing it for the camera. Yeah, it's not no. If she one thing about it, she stand on what she say. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like even though it be like, you be like, that's Crazy what you that, that's what you mean. Okay, <laughs> well shit, fuck you. Yeah, shit, yeah. it is what it is. But it be real, and I can appreciate. A real person acting authentic. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I like that. That's the whole point. Like, that was my whole character on the show, and that's how I am in real life. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with getting to know the real you, and then if I don't like you, then I don't like you. But right. I'd rather you show me the real you from the beginning to the end because if you show me something fake at the beginning, and then the real you come out and be like, what happened to the person what I happened? like? You know what I'm saying? Like, I liked it, that person. Right. Yeah. What happened? That's never. That wasn't you. And it's so always going to So Jocelyn show. gives you that Facts. Wet Wet and Jocelyn gives you that type of person like like me now or never like me. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? This is how I am. Yeah. It be up to you to be like, bitch, I don't like you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's her real person. So yeah. you can't do nothing but be okay with that. So who's your least favorite? Right. She tried she, she tried, tried to drag she that. Tried to drag the I don't know that. why <laughs> I don't know why you uh think I'm not gonna answer that. Hold on, let me think about all the females real quick. I ain't been around a couple of these hoes in a minute. It's so, uh, my least favorite. She know. Cause no, I, would know. I never got, no, not for real. I never really like thought about that for real. My least favorite probably would be. She nervous. Look at her hands. Look at her hands. When you start fiddling. Her hands start going like this. Uh, we petty. My least favorite is Daisy. Okay. I'm going to say Daisy. Daisy. I mean, I, I got into a fight with her, is. but. I'm going to say my least favorite is Who's Daisy. Daisy I didn't want to say her because I feel like it's cliche to say her because we got into it. Okay. But she really is my least favorite person. Makes sense. Before we even got into it. Which one is Daisy again with the doll? You know what the... You know which one Daisy is. <laughs> oh, she about Stop to Stop playing. You up. I, I don't know. So you ain't watched the show? I did watch it, so but I don't remember Daisy's is. name. Why she... Daisy the light-skinned one? No shit. The one I got into a fight with. With the doll? No, that's Voodoo doll. <laughs> her name is Voodoo doll? <laughs> That's Andrea. That Andrea. everybody calls Voodoo doll though. Daisy, 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 the Daisy. The one that got a fucking. I mean, she's walking oh. around with a scar in her fucking head. Oh. She's trying to be funny. <laughs> no. Because she's like older. She's like an older cast. She's on the previous season. I meant yep. like more so yep. new. OG. Okay. Yeah. She. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. We can count her. We, I know you're talking about now. Yeah. I meant for the new girls that were came in with you. Oh, probably. Uh, damn. My bad. This 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 fucking question just. <laughs> <laughs> it's late. Like, like damn. No, we just, say, we just like, said Daisy. Now just let us know um, why. Why if you had to say why. If I had to say why, mm-hmm. I just think that she feels like she's better than everybody. Mm-hmm. Like I don't like that. Like. 
you, we in the same, we on the same show, bitch. We yeah. collecting the same money. We doing the same thing. So at the end of the day, you in a strip club just like the rest of these bitches. Right. You 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 finessing niggas like the rest of these bitches. Like so, it's for you to come on the show and be like, I'm an OG. I don't think I should have to. I don't think I should have to audition. I'm an OG. I don't think I should have to run for a bed. I think I should get one of the better rooms. No, bitch, you gonna run for this bed just like the rest of us. Right. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I feel the same way. Running for the bed. Like, all right, no. Like, then why are you here? Because I, because obviously <laughs> I deserved it. Yeah, like the rest of us. Hold up, but she was on the first episode. I mean, she was on a, the, a season before. She was on. She was on. Right? She was a, ah! No, no, she was on one of the seasons. Oh, why she say you're talk, No, you're talking about Lucky. No, Lucky. Uh, all right. I thought they said it too, but no. I'm just I saying. If I, I ain't gonna lie. If I was a previous and y'all knew, all right, I've been through all that. Hype well, sorry to say that's not how it all was because right. we all had to do you what right. we had to do. <laughs> okay. And period. I was running for the thing too. So, <laughs> we all had to run, you know. So, all right, I, it, <laughs> I guess for the hell of it, I'll run. I'm right. fucking crying. You gonna all bring right. your ass up these stairs like the rest of us? <laughs> I'm fucking weak. All right, what's your favorite Jocelyn song and your least favorite Jocelyn song? And for the record, I told Melissa that Doom Cha Cha was a fucking hit. Not the first, we heard that, we heard that, that song so long ago, bro. And I was telling her, like, bro, this is the one. And she liked some other song. I'm like, bro, no. Damn. This is the one. But what's your favorite and least favorite? I mean, and it's no shade. The cha cha. That's your favorite? Yeah. Okay, least favorite. What's your love? What's your favorite? <laughs> I Probably New York. York. Probably ass. New York. New York? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that was funny. But I like how Jocelyn, it's the marketing for me, you know what I'm saying? The marketing is crazy. She a beast with that shit. Yeah, it's like, and That's she know that people love just seeing her. She's a great entertainer, so. I really enjoy Jocelyn. Like she figured I it out. I have nothing bad to say about Jocelyn. Like, and even if Melissa wasn't my friend, like why, I, I really fuck. Why with are you over there with that face? What no, I fuck with Jocelyn. I think she figured it out. She That's... Puerto Rican and she ain't Jocelyn. Say no. No, I'm the, I'm the Puerto Rican princess next to Jocelyn. Okay. You gotta get your ass done, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Not a deal. I cannot. I'll fuck All right, so how was uh tour life? Are y'all done with the tour? When no, is we're actually... still on tour. Y'all still on tour. Yes. Okay, so Everybody how has that been? Everybody needs to go get their tickets. <laughs> you said what happened? Everybody needs to go get them tickets. We waiting for y'all to come to Atlanta. We're supposed to be coming to Atlanta. We keep asking Melissa what's up with Atlanta. Um, and... I think she's like trying to book us for Atlanta too. Yeah, we so need y'all. We're definitely supposed to, to come to be here. here. Yeah, M know all the spots. Facts. She know what's up. Y'all go come. Yes, yeah, but hold come. up, but you from were bro? saying yeah, other bro. cities with bad Fly tippers. Y'all to cuss me out like Is y'all gonna do the y'all gonna do the dance? Yeah. yeah. We actually did. Yeah, yeah. Get it, get it. We got a video on yeah, that. Where's yeah. that video? I ain't edited it yet. Okay. <laughs> so we we gonna tell you. We gonna you tell you. to get on your shit. Right. Okay, you gotta get on your Zoom every day. Come on, that will be learned. You gotta get on your Zoom. All right, so what, what has been like one of the most memorable nights you would say thus far and what made it like really memorable as far as being on the tour with Jocelyn and the girls? Dallas for me, personally. Wow. Um, Dallas was just, the energy was there, the tips was there. Hello? <laughs> Y'all, before- and tell, her, tell her what she said about no, the tips. No, <laughs> because I tell told her I'm from Pennsylvania said, and she gonna say, Philly was the worst tippers. Mm. Philly, next time y'all see her, y'all know what's up. Like, oh, <laughs> I said what the fuck I said. <laughs> I said roll I on said. her. Cause she said I should have rep Pennsylvania. Y'all roll on her. All my dogs, if y'all say no. She <laughs> called it meal. I'll just say, I'll just say, I'll just say, I'll just I like the Philly. <laughs> Philly had a lot of energy. They hey. just did come where they pocket was. You know what I'm saying? It All right. is what it is. They came it dead, is around look. <laughs> it's around the first. They came look. through this, bitch. Y'all in Philly, fuck something about. <laughs> it was yeah. around the first. I so people were paying. <laughs> All right, I'll see you, bitch. Giving you us better, some grace. You better be graceful. I'll just play, I'll just play, but hold up. I'm right. not mad about it. <laughs> Damn, my bad. I put pressure on her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All my goons. It ain't no pressure <laughs> over here, baby. Everybody with the Tims. Goons is crazy, yo. I'm fucking dead. Nah, but yeah, we definitely went to a few of her shows, and she definitely cussed me out in Miami. What you do? I was in her way, but I wasn't even in her way. Like, I was standing there. I was in her way. She just bucked at me. I'm like, I didn't even, she I like, literally didn't bitch. do nothing. Like, I got a whole video of it. Like, she said, move, bitch. Now she just bucked at me. And I'm just like, damn, I'm like. But you don't know because she be like, then right after that, she'll be Taking nice shots to you. Together she probably was playing low key. Yeah, I mean, I ain't take no offense to her. You know what I'm low saying? Low key, I she, like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, she got a, 
a you dark sense of humor. <laughs> I never posted that. <laughs> you need to. You need to. She could have bucked at anybody, but she chose me. So That's honestly, great. what I say about me? What I say about me? Y'all stupid. Hell that nah. was great. Uh, drop your ass <laughs> on your ass. <laughs> drop. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking weak. All right. So on the tour, have you had any one night stands? No. So no bitch home. No. Are you like lesbian? You and she lying. Nah, nah. I like. I want to know how on the get on the level. How of, gay? Are I know you, you bisexual. Yes. But Boo, like, I'm what playing. do you prefer? I'm joking. <laughs> That's fine by me. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm about to get canceled. <laughs> but what do you it's prefer joke, in like, is you hitting the road in Lincoln? Hold on, what? <laughs> like, like, hold up. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> is you hitting the road? Hey, baby, I'm in your city for one night. Oh, no. Okay, I didn't know what you meant. No, like, me hitting the road in Lincoln. It I know the Lincoln you. part. Like, why, you mean, why you Tour, like, is you linking up and is no, you looking for? I have for... not linked with nobody. Boring. I really be. I don't give a fuck. You should let me take her DMs. You, look, you know what's crazy? If she want to spread her pussy out, then that's on her. I don't be doing that. Who me? You I ain't just all over some fucking bread, bitch. <laughs> we gonna put her night back home. No. <laughs> spread it. Ah, oh, she funny. Y'all is so I sweet. got it. Y'all... I got it. <laughs> right. I did. All right, so you don't link up, but what do you prefer? Do you prefer women? Yes. Like, okay. You prefer right. coochie. Yes. And you ain't been getting none, and you single. Yes. And you ain't been getting none. No. Dang. I ain't had no coochie. Yo, you see where we at? Yo, we are at Starship right now, y'all. Listen, they have anything you need for inside the bedroom, plus more stuff you can't even think about. Make sure y'all go to the website. Yes, yes, y'all get 15% off with our code No Homo Show at shopstarship.com. No Homo Show, shopstarship.com. Go run it up, y'all. Listen, if you're in Atlanta, stop by their store because it's crazy, but if you're not, online got everything too, plus more for real. Yeah, I'm about to grab me something to go. Let's stack up real quick because y'all know. So what happened with this Miss Natural? Because I just seen y'all on the reunion. And by the way, when was the reunion filmed? How old is that? October. October. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, y'all was giving, you know, holding hands. Y'all walk out. That's my baby. Giving a little chemistry. But mm -hmm. if you had to say as far as y'all relationship, what, what is it? Y'all just friends? Friends with benefits? Um. Booty call. Oh, Lord Jesus. That, not that. I really want my fans. So I can be like, bye, bitch. <laughs> Hey. I'll get it. Uh, I'm glad it's on the get the uh, fit. Go ahead, get, Look, get the fit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm be honest. Um, so we were together. I don't. Is that bad, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> so no, but we was together. Um, I think, I think Miss Thatcher was a great person, yeah. but I just I highly believe that some people are just not meant to be together. I have a very dominant personality mm -hmm. and she does as well. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like we don't mesh well in that aspect. Yeah. So y'all were together. But she's my baby. Like, I'm not going to, I love her to death. I wish her well. I want her to succeed in life. Yeah. And I'm always going to be there for her and her kid. You know what I'm saying? That's my baby. It's just, I don't think we supposed to be together. Like. Yeah. But y'all were together in a relationship. Yeah, we were definitely in a relationship. Oh, wow, okay. I didn't know We that. were definitely Before together. the show? No, we got oh. together on the show. No, we did not fuck. Huh, y'all got together and y'all ain't have sex? What? Yes, yes. I'm not getting with nobody until we had sex. <laughs> I'm not saying it like that. I'm not saying I'm just It wasn't looking at my nails after that. <laughs> it was so like, it she was serious. That no, yeah, because was that's, that's, like, that's like so married. So you had sex with my your girl? wife before y'all yeah. got together? Yeah, but what we are but, you celibate? No, but hold up. First I'm not of all, celibate, but I just I don't think that like I don't I don't know. I like the fact that I could be like, nah, I did not fuck you. You a team. But I yeah, but you. look, you no. So this is the thing. We was together for like three months before we even had sex, right? But it's kind of like marrying somebody and don't know what their sex is like. Like, well, I'm not gonna commit to you, and then I. But realize, I feel like in the in our world, in the lesbian world, you I can, feel like you can. Teach a person how to do that. We ain't got time for that. Yeah. Miss Egypt, Miss Egypt. I'm not saying. I'm we not business. saying that. But I'm about if you really time. like a person, like you wouldn't teach them. I mean, are you? I feel like you teach them anyway. No you matter teach what. Them you. Yeah, yeah. So you already. I mean, it's only a tongue and a click. Like damn, bitch. No. Like, that slow. Uh, so no. It's some rolls. It's a, it's a butt. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, all of that too. No, but I'm but. talking about as far as like eating some pussy, like. 
If it's you not. can't catch up on this, then we, yeah. we ain't gonna. So why didn't y'all have sex though? Huh? Why didn't y'all have sex? <laughs> not that hard. Because that hard was loud. I just don't think I didn't. One, I wasn't gonna have sex with her in a house full of other people. Like we wow. literally was sharing a bathroom with another bitch that used to just walk into our room all the time. Yeah. Then like I just didn't feel That's like what? I felt like we got together on the show. Like if this is something that we really won't then we'll do that when we get home yeah because i didn't want to be one of them type of people oh yeah we fucked on the show but then when we got home we didn't even really like but y'all got other. together on the show and y'all yes. didn't have sex no crazy <laughs> <laughs> that's different that's different i mean i respect you know, you know, I know. That's that's I respect that's that though because you know like you know you just don't really hear that often you know what i'm saying especially with two women who seem like they very like desirable and like it might be a lot of temptation there you know it's a yeah. lot of casamigos from Posada around not saying that you know what i'm saying but i know it's definitely, definitely been to... times that it could have and should have happened yeah but i prefer for it not to happen i think she was on the same shit. like you know uh you hear about these reality tv shows all the time where people fuck on the show and yeah. be together on the show and then right. as soon as we really get off the show whole different personalities come out you don't right. even really like that person mm -hmm. you just fuck you just gave your pussy up to another individual you just caught a bite yeah i respect i didn't want well, i'm not about <laughs> no you don't no i do <laughs> stay no, there, i actually. do though i do you Let know what i'm not Let talking some positive uh <laughs> no, I'm but no I, I will say because all right at least y'all wasn't like built off of just sex and like lust you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of my shit in the what past. She's telling me what? that she, <laughs> she only got wearing because it's sex was good. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> you on that bullshit. She spilled her drink, y'all. So she, she got nervous. She got nervous, y'all. Right? Like, so if her sex was bad, if, you're, if, if your wife's sex was, sex was bad, well, then what? Yeah, what? Oh, shit. <laughs> Before, yeah. We're not talking about my wife. We're talking about the girl. No, I, I said first. wife. I definitely said okay. wife. Okay. <laughs> so, no, so no. So was with a When person. I say we're not talking about my wife, I'm saying we're not talking about when we're already married. We're talking about uh, 90 days into it. If it if it was horrible, yeah. bye. Right? So you would, you're saying if <laughs> what? you was dating somebody for like 90 days. I don't think that was days, a good idea. <laughs> No, I don't think you understand what no, I'm you saying. Mean, I'm like, you said I don't think that was a good idea. If my wife sex is bad, I wouldn't know before I married her. I now mean, you over here marrying bitches, you don't know how they sex is. That's your problem. I didn't marry nobody. <laughs> <laughs> your crazy. All right, so basically what you're saying is like you would date somebody for 90 days or any point of time, and if and you ain't had sex with. I them. didn't say 90 days. Okay, so give me a better idea. We're trying to, we're that's trying to, we're trying to understand. Look, that's a long time. <laughs> and teach our, our watchers and our viewers, they like to be educated too, you know what I'm saying? You I don't know. have to have sex with a person to be in a relationship with them. That's what it is. No, yeah. Okay, but so how long do you go? I don't think it's a... <laughs> Y'all, she dried up. Somebody come uh, get this girl right. So I don't think it's a, like, a, like a time, a set time for something. Yeah. However, I just don't think that you have to rush into sex. Facts. Like... I, I'm a I'm an energy person, so I feel like when you have sex, you swap energies. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then next thing you know, you got a crazy ass bitch running after you, and you wasn't even on that with her. You know what I'm saying? But you can't control how she feel when you fucked her. You and fucked this bitch so good, she calling your phone so much. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, look, y'all been through that shit. Some points here. <laughs> so I'm okay with just like getting to know a person, understanding that person, and being like, okay, now after I get to know you, your full character, I can like fuck you i can be okay with just fucking you and then if we want to do the relationship thing okay but i'm okay with the relationship happening without yeah. the sex it i don't know i feel maybe like i can teach a dog you a horny little hoe. no maybe even as as <laughs> a perspective Horny as a perspective a, of a dancer, a no, I'm not. <laughs> like, or okay, horny, you little horny. horn ball. <laughs> what? Horny no, because right. you would think a dancer and not 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 going. They don't. There's some things that like don't mean that much to them. I don't want to say it like that. I'm saying like, all right, no, I, no, <laughs> this is no, crazy. no. I'm saying it like this. All right, so let's say. Would you walk around naked in front of me? No. All right. Would a dancer just be walking around naked because they're so used to it, right? They Depending they look at the sex, sex and sexual things. But different. I don't think that's got anything to do with a dancer, though. I think that's an individual. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, so I'm gonna break it down like this. When you're a dancer, most people be like, a lot of dancers are hoes. That's a thing. 
Yeah. But the thing is, no, that bitch was a hoe before she came a dancer. Okay, I feel that. So that's her character. It doesn't yeah. have nothing to do with us swinging on a pole. Because yeah, there's plenty I don't of people all that swing on poles that's not strippers. But the moment you be like, oh, she a stripper, they be like, oh, you a hoe. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But that's not true. That bitch was a hoe before she came into the yeah. club. She just hoeing out in the club. You know what I'm saying? Like, Because it's definitely strippers that are married, that don't step out, that don't yeah. go home with customers, that don't do that. So you, but that's a... That's just how people look at it. People look I at it. I just us. know a lot that just linked up, had a good night, and it was just fun. <laughs> it's, and some that ruined it. it's some that ruined it for the majority. Yeah. yeah, and that's what happened. Yeah. So right. that's the same thing with lesbians, too, because lesbians throw the pussy at you. Like, literally, I done had girls try to, like, they pick up lines like, let me give you head. Like, bitch, I don't even know you. Yeah. So I feel like. And get this bread, get this we, head, we probably, and we, leave. From where we speaking from, is like, we're used to, like, Sex being like kind of one of the primary things in yeah, a lesbian number one, relationship. Let's just so when we hear list. it, <laughs> yeah, when we hear it, we like, bitch, you lie. You know, you said no, that whole out. No. But that's what's okay, up. I respect yeah. that. No, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Look, y'all don't respect shit. <laughs> 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 get a girl Nobel Peace Prize up here. Get a girl Nobel yeah. Peace Prize. Oh, All right, so last question about the tour. Well, two more questions. When's it, when does it end? The tour, or is it just like y'all keep adding dates? Yeah, we've been adding a lot of dates, so don't ask me. Congrats! Okay. <laughs> I heard y'all really putting on a good show. We have. I can't been. wait to see y'all. We, we went to uh, one before. This was a couple years ago, mm -hmm. where I feel like Jocelyn was performing and the girls was just dancing. <laughs> and I feel like the girls, <laughs> I feel like the girls was just dancing. Where I heard now y'all got like a real set going on. Like, yes. like dances yes. and shit. Definitely. So that's really dope. So it's a we, lot going on. We super excited to see y'all when y'all hit ATL. And for those who want to know, do y'all get paid on the tour? Yes, we do get paid. Tips, booking fees. Both. Get out her pocket. Say stop. Stop her. <laughs> no, about I'm, I'm okay with that okay. Okay. because I feel oh. like that's a question that a lot of people want to know. Um, yes, we get paid by Jocelyn, and we get paid with our tips as well. So. I did hear Joss on the show like, I'm, about to try I'm paying you bitches tonight. Like, damn, you get to choose. It was like, yes! <laughs> well, on the show, it was different. You okay. know, we got paid for being on the show. So whether she paid us or not, her own pocket didn't have nothing to do with. But the tour is different. Yeah, this is on her. And are they filming on the tour? Um, Not at the moment. OK. I wish they would. That's a whole other. Y'all need to. Because it is. Do y'all be getting messy? <laughs> do y'all like beefing and shit on tour? No. Okay. Is she lying? Look at her. She like, it seems like y'all get along, but... No, we actually really do get along. She picked part a great that, um, group of girls. Yeah. It's just like, look, one band, one sound. Understand that? Okay. <laughs> yeah, and how often do y'all hit shows, though? Like, um, Every weekend. Oh, okay. Lately, it's been every weekend. Yeah, every weekend. she got money. Ass your ass. I had money before this. <laughs> Drop, drop. Hold on, you sing and drop. She doing the girl, new job. Girl, yeah, we yeah, trying yeah, our best. Uh, <laughs> we trying it. It's a mix. It's, it's a mix. mix. I'm fucking weak. All right, that's my last question about the tour. Okay. Can we go into like some other stuff? Cause you are open book. Yeah. Okay. So um, obviously, you know, you say you are bisexual, and you do. You have one kid. Two. You have two kids. Um, how is that like you on the road and stuff mm -hmm. how's that going for you like with the kids how, how is it going with my kids yeah um i think sometimes it can be difficult for me as a mom because i'm always around my kids i got custody of my kids mm -hmm. so i'm used to being around them all the time mm -hmm. but um it's been flowing i got a good father like they have a great father so he's been helping a lot i have a good supportive team so they've been helping a lot so it's been going good. Shout out to support systems. That mean a lot. That's one reason me and my girl ain't having a baby because we don't got family out here in Atlanta other than my sister. And you she need... can't watch that baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, why would you say it like that? Her sister can't watch that baby. She's talking about no, she can't watch that, that baby. That baby gonna be eating yellow rice and... <laughs> be a what? Eating yellow rice and up all late and just TT baby, that's TT baby though. <laughs> No, no, man. No, for real. Baby going to be eating yellow rice. We Puerto that Rican. Night. We Puerto Rican. That, that rice going to be stew fine. Chicken. <laughs> they didn't got no teeth. Baby, eat some chicken already. How? 
Talking about man, push it up. No. Oh, <laughs> I'm weak. I'm fucking weak. That's hilarious. No, but that takes that's a big deal. Okay, so yeah. um we know that you had an incident where you had you were in domestic violence, right? Yes. Um, can we talk about that a little bit, just like dealing with domestic violence? And it's not only men and women neither, but with that's what you experienced, yes. right? Can so I almost did this to you. Oh, <laughs> bitch by. She almost bitch by me. Um, just, oh, Lord, Jesus, I fuck you. Um, <laughs> personally, from my experience, um, just don't wait. Don't wait. Get out of it. Uh oh choose to love yourself more than the individual you're dealing with mm -hmm. don't be scared to tell nobody if there if there's signs take those signs because i didn't take those signs you know like i just i don't know i was young so i just didn't i let you know you get signs in life and sometimes us as individuals we just be like oh okay whatever mm -hmm. you know it that won't happen to me you know type shit and um I just feel like take those signs and run like mm -hmm. and be like okay i love me more than i love this person mm -hmm. and i'm just gonna stick with that <laughs> okay yeah. so um was there times where you thought <clears throat> that the sign like that you they could kill you he could kill you yes i mean yes definitely um i would have went to prison if i didn't feel that yeah so did. you did end up defending yourself and you actually killed him. <laughs> nah, it's no, cause this is a, I'm not, I know we've been joking this whole time, right? But this is serious because when you say there's signs, right? And it like, and not saying for you, but anybody in the future, like you literally seen your life at risk. And I seen like shows, like real shows mm -hmm. where like women would tell somebody like, if something happens to me, that's the first motherfucker. It's like, yo, how you know that and you ain't leave? It's hard. Um, yeah. I was, I was personally dealing with somebody that was my friend yeah. before we ever got in a relationship. Yeah. So, I knew what he was to me, even though I didn't know what he was to other women. Mm. You know. So, so he was abusive before. Yeah, I wasn't the first person he abused. Mm. I wasn't the first person on his rap sheet. I wasn't the first. We can't. People can act like I was the first. No, I was just the person that went to prison for ending his life. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't the first person he abused. You mm -hmm. know, like that wasn't, I wouldn't, I'ma just, I'ma end this like this. Yeah. I wouldn't be out walking around free Yeah. if I was the first. Got you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You 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 gotta read your laws. Michigan don't play about shit like that. Yeah. You don't just go around killing people and think you're about to get off. Nah. I'm I'm, yeah. I'm this color. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that that that's not how that go. So I know you said uh, to anybody that y'all see signs to get out. Is there anything else you just want to tell somebody going through domestic violence? But that's that's really it, and it could happen to you. You know what I mean? I feel like that's important too. And it's easier said than done, right? Cause like it's I definitely I it's easier. It's like, easier said than done. That shit for real, is crazy. for real. Like, I mean, we watch it on TV. We mm -hmm. watch it. We we've seen it on like some people that's posted their whole life stories where it's not even like physical. It could be just a mental, and mental is worse. Like, unfortunately, like I'm healed from physical abuse. Like I'm good. Yeah. But a person that's been mentally abused, it's even worse. Like it Gosh. it self destruct them. You know what I'm saying? Like. And it's hard to rebuild yourself yeah. or let someone else rebuild you. Then for somebody to take the time out to want to be there while you rebuild. Yeah. You know, so you usually go through that moment alone. Yeah. Because in somebody else's head, you're like, you're like rotten goods. Like, mm. like, what's wrong with you? Why are you acting like that? When really you've been through some shit mm -hmm. and you don't know how to take in a good person because you've been dealing with somebody that's just been tearing you down constantly yeah so i feel like mental abuse is worse i didn't really go through mental abuse i was the prettiest person ever uh -huh. but i also was the person like okay bitch don't go out that door don't where you at 
oh, I'm too late, that type of person. Like controlling. Yeah, I was in a controlling situation. So it's now, oh, this is my friend. I love him. And he loved me. And, okay, you did that once. It's okay. I mean, shit, my mama used to whip my ass. Like, you know, mm, it's okay. I feel you. You know, it's okay. It'll be all right. You know, it ain't I'm, that deep. It ain't it's not that this deep. Far. Like, yeah, I, I was, I was yelling. You know, I was, I did do that. Um, it, and it just keeps getting worse. And in your head, you make excuse after excuse after excuse until one day, the excuses are not excusable. Right. But do you but realize that? I realize that it now. Yeah. Right, but at back. the time, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> at the time, you don't. Or it wouldn't be people in prison for domestic yeah. violence. It wouldn't be people in there for what I went in there for, you know, like, so it's just, um, I really, this is such a sensitive yeah, I understand. conversation for me because like social media turns things and they don't understand what you don't, what you don't see, you don't understand. A lot of people, if they don't see it, they don't understand it. People mm -hmm. automatically be like, oh, why didn't you leave? You could have just walked out or, and I'd be like, yeah, I guess I could have, but like that what when you're in a situation that's not how things are i was in my house why well, i gotta walk out yeah like you know what i'm saying this, it was my house it was i invited him in my world you know so it was like so you want me to run for my world and just be like fuck everything that mm -hmm. i've built mm -hmm. i didn't know how to do that i was 19 yeah. you know people don't understand when you're 19 you're still a, i'm not gonna say a kid but you really are like hell yeah you know you don't the knowledge that I have now about something and the knowledge that I have, I'll be like, yeah, I, I, I made poor decisions. Yeah. I made real poor decisions and it ended me up in a fucked up situation. Yeah. But I'm here. I think so many, even if it didn't go to that extent, so many people been through crazy relationships, either it was mental abuse or yeah. like physical. Like I think we all, a lot of us have experienced it. We're, it's understandable. So I don't want to stay real deep. So we could take a sip. Oh, Lord, yeah, now nah, I do want to say something like yeah. I appreciate you even speaking on it because what I will say is that it's a very common thing, not only just on same sex but hetero as well. Domestic violence oh, really Jesus. is, yeah. Yeah. and it stems from like a lot of trauma. Cause like I've been in that situation too, where I stayed with somebody who was abusing me. But when I look back, I was like. Nigga, you had abandonment issues. I didn't want them to leave me. Yeah. So the whole yeah. time I'm like trying to help yeah. them. And I, and then that's why I love when you say like, choose yourself and mm -hmm. learn to love yes. yourself. Because, because if that's you keep putting that person before you, everything else is like you're blinded. And literally the, the definition of insanity is Something doing the same thing over, over and over, expecting different results. Ooh. So I do appreciate you for like speaking on that. And I know it was like a heavy topic. So thank you for being vulnerable yeah, with us because you. a lot of people need to hear that. And one thing I know about the internet is like, like you said, they don't get it, bro. They don't. And those they trolls don't. are And they lethal. acting like they ain't been through shit. Hey, yeah, that's and the may, worst. And maybe they have that's the worst you know part for me. So they don't get that's it. That's the worst part for me. Cause I be like, I've been around too many people. I've been, I watch a lot of social media people, yeah. and I be like, y'all have been through this type of yeah. stuff. Like, yo, it just didn't go as perfect. far as minds went, but you've been through some crazy yeah. shit, whether right. it was with your parents or with the person you were with, or you know what I'm saying. You've been through traumatizing shit, and you know it's not no, it's not no black and white type of thing. Yeah. It's right. not no just oh you choose this or you choose that. Right. It's, it's never not simple. like that. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a gray area in there and you have if you're not gonna be understanding to it, then you're never going to get it. Yeah. You know, so Yeah, and off of what you yeah, were saying, sure. like I was with somebody that went through mad trauma, like in their family growing up, right? So when yeah. they would take it out on me, I understand like, yo, you don't know no better, right? Yeah. And I kept being with them like like yo, you I see the potential in you. Woo, you just don't. That, that was yeah. me. Yeah, hey, that you was just potential. don't know no better. And sometimes that was me. you, that you gotta realize bro. you can't save them. You can't save them. You gotta em. save yourself. That's a fact, because we see bro. the potential and you can't save them. Somebody good, told good. me stop looking for a person that you want them to be. Mm, right. Facts. And look at them for who they are at that very moment. That's Because they fact. might not ever turn out to be the person you think they could be. Facts. That's a fact. Damn. And that, that that right there really changed my life. After I heard that from a therapist, I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. Because in my head, I'm like, you could be such a great person. Like, Because when we were high, we were high. Like, right. when the 
when it was good moments, it was great moments. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But when it was low moments, baby, them motherfuckers went to hell. I'm I'm like, to tell you, you damn night. Like, that's why when you said like teach somebody sex, I'm like, no, you show me who you are. <laughs> Your sex is bad. Why do I gotta teach you? Why, how did we get why there, do I have to teach you when what? you show me? No, you why? show me who you <laughs> were. So why do gotta I gotta put it. up with that? That's what I'm saying. You gotta trust why it. That's do I gotta what I'm saying. Why I gotta put up with that bad sex? No, get somebody else. That's to do what it. I was saying from the beginning. I feel you now. That's what you was. I feel you now. So, we right. have to bring it full circle. Okay. You know I get what nigga was saying. That was 360. That was 360 right there. On a lighter note, how long, well, after this question, okay. on a lighter note, how long did you go to prison for? I went to prison. Let me let me let me say okay. this right because yeah, yeah. Lord knows this has been a controversy. <laughs> I went to prison for four years and some months. Okay. When I was on the show, I said five years, but people don't act like they don't know how to you know? Oh no, we gonna round up. Right, like, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I just went. If I went to jail act- for two days, bitch, I did time. <laughs> so now, all right, time. All, right all right, all right, all right, my bad. But yes, it was four months in, like, no, four se- years, four years and seven months or some shit like that. Okay, that's like, time, time. Yeah. All right, so I said five years on the show, and people were just like. You said five years when we looked it up. It was like four years. That's this petty. Fuck. Like, oh, wow. That's so petty. Now, if you Are only you did like a couple I months. Swear to God. Yo, that's petty. Okay, so let's talk about jail real quick. How is being a lesbian in jail? Was you? I know prison you, though, right? It's a difference between prison. jail and prison, right? I did both, though. Okay. okay. I did my sentencing. I did six months and some change in jail. Okay. Was you living a the lesbian life? life? The best life. Cleo <laughs> from Set It Off. I was in Cleo. <laughs> I definitely wasn't Cleo. Can you tell us about Cleo No, not you was Cleo. Was you dating Cleo? Cleo only had one bitch. Facts. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> you was causing hell. Let me find out. She had the white t shirt tied on and shit. <laughs> Y'all petty as fuck. How how how's jail life as a lesbian or bisexual woman? It was the best. <laughs> it was the best. To say jail, prison was the best is crazy. I'm not gonna lie, like it's like People was at your bowing down to you, huh? I was a princess in here. I was definitely a princess. Oh my God. You had studs or fams? I like both. Okay. I like both. Y'all like ever both. saw 60 Days Locked In when that girl fell in love with one of the um, inmates? Yeah. And she was like a participant and she went in there just on the show <laughs> and she actually fell in love with an inmate, an inmate, huh? Nah, she, she was like to stay damn there though. It was on sixty days like this. People she do went that. People she will literally love. keep coming back because they in love with somebody inside the jail. And on damn well, once they get out, yeah, yeah, they don't be like that though. Like I seen, like it do be like that. But I've seen couples come home from that shit. Yeah, like I came home with my girlfriend. Oh yeah, but was I did. Toxic. She wasn't toxic. She was not. Actually, it was yeah. one of the best relationships I ever had with a girl. Oh Look really? But let me tell you something. She had been locked up since she was younger in the jail. Damn, I mean, in, in the prison. <laughs> However, so in prison, studs is a high commodity. She's smiling. Like, <laughs> why are you doing that? Oh, wait. <laughs> Brent, I, I can't wait this to see No, because it's not a lot of studs. <laughs> it's not a lot of studs. Yeah. So, like, oh, man, studs in there is a high commodity. <laughs> and I got one of the, like, I had got one of the best studs. So, like, we came home together. Mm. But in there, she's like royalty. <laughs> out here, bitch, you can't do the shit you was doing right. in there. So out here. she ended up talking to a girl and lying to me about it out here. And it really had, I'm like, okay. When you say I heard you in Atlanta or like outside of. <laughs> That's how it was. Like, huh? In Atlanta, you saying? Or. No, I, oh. I mean, this was in Michigan. Oh, okay, of course. okay, okay. But like. When she came home, when we came home together, she thought she could still do the same shit that she would did in the Damn, prison. Damn, what was she doing you. to you in jail? In Which prison. we was in prison. She had a whole nother girl. I was really the side bitch for real, for real. Damn, Asia. But when we, I mean, Were I was okay with it because let me tell y'all something. <laughs> that I was okay with. Let me tell you something. So, her ex girlfriend was like one of my first girlfriends. Wow. In prison, you got like a whole, a whole different like lifestyle. Her ex girlfriend up being my wife in prison. Don't ask no questions. No, I seen that in a so, oh, no, movie. <laughs> so she my <laughs> wife. But then my wife ended up cheating me with her. So then I got into a fight and moved into another unit. Me <laughs> and her was in the same unit. So I started fucking her. Damn. This sound like the Nick Cannon family. So tree. then we all oh, end up <laughs> fucking with each other. 
But then she was fucking with somebody else, so we dropped her off and got together. Damn. <laughs> Prison mad messy. And do a lot of girls be gay for the state? Because I had a friend who like. Yeah, they be thinking they gonna be gay for the state and get home and be gay too. <laughs> Ooh. But some girls do be going back straight though, right? Sometimes, but do, can you really go back being straight? Because you was never straight, right? Right. Wait, like, did I say that right? Or you was never gay? No, no, but I'm saying you can you really yeah. go back to being straight? I've never like seen a girl. I know a girl open up to <laughs> my friend had a girl who did like, you five can't years. Mess with a girl and, and then went, be like, I'm straight again. No, <laughs> yeah. this girl did that to my friend. They did five years together. When she got out, she That's was what like, I was saying. But I don't think that's I don't know. I don't feel like that's you going back to being straight. I think now you just have a choice. And yeah. you prefer a man than a woman. I feel like when you're bisexual, you still have a preference. Like you still be like, I would choose a dude over a girl or yeah. a girl over a dude. For me, like it's women. Like I'd rather be with a woman than a man. Yeah. However, like if I'm with a man, I can still well, no. Cause <laughs> when I was with my baby daddy, I was still getting pussy. <laughs> I'm so confused. She, Did y'all she, get pussy together? Or was you like? We never got pussy together, but he always let me have a girlfriend. Like, That's so sweet of him. But not a stud. He ain't let you have a stud. He probably would though. He for real? I mean, cause I mean, pussy is pussy for real. Like, nah, maybe not if they love you. They that not gotta with be that. a strong king you got over there. I, mean, I, I don't know. Like I never tried. King. I've always you I've had always a king. Got, he was uh -huh. a king. Huh? He was a no. He's twelve years older than me. <laughs> Wait, what you mean? Like he's twelve years older than me. So, so that like, means he ain't no king. Shit. When he acting like one, I guess. <laughs> when he a prince? Goddamn, a pawn? <laughs> Baby, shit. He's full. Shit. I'm fucking with hey, you. Hey, we, we I'm at? just playing. I'm just playing. No, nah, no. Nah, it's all jokes. No. We don't want to make it seem like, because I, I hate it when uh, people were saying, why is Casa not, his name, Casa not, right? Trying to make it look like prison's a fun place. And I don't want people to think that because we're talking about how women are there and you have bitches. We're not trying to correlate that. It probably no, is I'm not saying it's a party. It's a party. You know what I'm party. I'm but not saying it's a party, but I'm gonna to the say, one person that's gonna comment that dumb shit. I feel like yeah, one person. I don't like, feel like it's eh. a party, but I'm gonna say like you're going to make whatever situation a person like me, you're gonna make whatever situation it, you are in the best. The best. Facts. So I mean pussy, like, pussy, 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 yeah, right. yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, what's the point of being in somewhere for if you got say even, okay, I can get it if you got like thirty days. Like, bitch, just lay down and chill. But right. bitch, for those that got years, you're gonna be there for a minute. We're we gonna be here for a minute. We might as well go ahead and I, I have, shit I've up. heard that. <laughs> I've heard that even from men. Like, yo, not saying like they go gay, <laughs> but just saying like Whoa. I gotta make. You I gotta be. Left. I gotta be optimistic and just not let it tear me down too much. All right. Yeah, uh, yeah, um, yeah. Next card. Hey. <laughs> next question. Hey, how, how y'all sneaking to have sex? I didn't have to sneak. I was actually in the room with my bitch for most of my time. Oh, man. shit. Y'all was cellmates? Yeah. That hit different. Yeah. But then I used to sneak into my other bitch room. That's crazy. I even snuck in another uni. We got two different parts of you. We got the celibate part and the right the but i was younger part. you gotta oh, understand i was young right. when i went to prison i was 19. and i was a hoe when i was uh young and too yes so. i was and i'm admitting it <laughs> shout out to mariah lynn y'all y'all see brit is a jukebox y'all yeah, do you hear how many songs yeah, like it, it, it's really? five every time all right now we can't let you get up out of here without us asking about one of the most infamous viral clips from miss jocelyn hernandez what up, mate? No. <laughs> when she said, alopecia. Oh, my God. Bitch, where is your hair? Now, look, what's even funny is that M didn't see that clip. Mm -hmm. She just, she's business. She's like. I'm so lost. So we would say that to her. You ain't see it? And she no, was like, M, Melissa. Melissa didn't uh. see it. She's like, I didn't know that was the girl. She didn't know that was you, right? So when she explained it to her, she was like, Jocelyn probably really didn't know what alopecia meant. You know what she, I'm saying? When she, she said didn't it. for real. So when y'all were having that conversation where like you offended or just even after when it went No, viral, I wasn't. I think everybody kind of expected me to be, but it was a playful conversation when she, we were talking. <laughs> yeah. However, other people was taking it on the outside. I mean, of course, y'all know we're going to have people that be like, it was nothing. And you're going to have people being dramatic. So yeah. for me, it was just like, she was like, when I said it, she was like, I love Pisha. Like, right. what? Like, like, she didn't know what that meant. Like, then she like, oh, bitch, it's, I think she thought it had something to do with wigs. Because <laughs> she kept funny. saying it like, but where's it's your from hair? them damn wigs. It's from them damn wigs. And I'm like, 
<laughs> hey, no, we do be fucking on no, some of y'all edges. I ain't gonna hold hey, you. Don't come from the gals. I ain't saying you. Don't come from the gals. I said the gals. You can't come hey, for a bitch right. boy. Do it not. <laughs> How, what advice would you give to people who um, also experience having alopecia to just have confidence? Because you seem like you're very confident. Um, and, you know, you even rocked this. To be so. honest. Just be yourself and understand like confidence is way more. I know, I know too many bitches that are to me absolutely gorgeous from head to toe. And baby, they get done the way we get done at the end of the day. Like That's bitch, right. like you gonna have people that like you. You gonna have people that dislike you for your for your appearance and you just can't worry about the people that don't like you worry about yeah. the people that do like and that's me like i've never not got the person i wanted i'm gonna say that period <laughs> period Mr. i got i got the baddest bitch in the house <laughs> i got the baddest bitch in prison <laughs> 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 i ain't never with a broke nigga so okay now i will say like <laughs> once you are so confident with how you are. Can't nobody, nobody use can that. Fuck yeah, that. like and like you ain't have to show Ooh. that. You ain't have to show that. On oh, the I did because she snatched my wig. Oh, off. I okay. never planned on even being oh, like that. My bad. But since it had happened, I was like, "Fuck it, shit." I mean, walk around at home. Oh like yeah, this. during the fight. Okay, got yeah, it. Yeah, like she snatched. She snatched my wig off. Like she snatched it off, and it was such a shocker. But I ain't gonna lie. I had planned for that moment. Like. Damn. I planned for that moment because I, I felt like I was gonna get into it with somebody on the show. I didn't think it was her. Yeah. But I mean, you you watch reality TV, people get into it. I'm like, somebody gonna try me. Yeah. And the first thing that most women do is pull hair. Yeah. So yeah, they do be going for that man. hair. So I be feeling bad for the mother like her. I don't think you should get in a fight. But <laughs> like, cause they gonna take them braids but, out. Nah, this attached though. No, yeah, that's the problem. The motherfucking scout have a ball. Right. I'm no, I'm not gonna lie. And you can't even ask Britt. I don't be, I don't fight. But anytime I feel like I might fight, I'm putting my shit the up in a bun. But I don't care. I'm telling you, just don't get into a fight. No, I'm not. I'm not trying to fight. But because I, I, that be the first thing bitches do. I and, see some niggas pull her. I be like, hold on, wait. I ain't gonna lie. Go right for the hair. A little bitch can fuck me up if she got me right. By the hair. What? Yeah, if you got that tight grip on the hair. Man, it's... I see the bitch go from having the like. Nicest hair to just being like scalp, and I'm like, Ooh. oh and yeah, like, I'm a, I'm a lover, y'all. Don't fight me. And I'm see, with guy. me, I'll be ready for you to snatch my wig off because I'll be like, bitch, what do you have to hold on to? You better have them fucking Damn, hands. Damn, once it's they kinda work in your, it, it, it kind of work in your favor then. Yeah, it work in my favor yeah. because I'll be like, bitch, you really gotta have hands, and I got hands. Do you? Period. Oh, period. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> but a bob and weave, bitch. <laughs> okay. Not bob and weave. <laughs> No pun intended, yeah, right, okay? Right. Damn, so by the time it's You are out, just a nasty ass nigga. <laughs> what she do? I ain't do nothing. All right. Bob and she weed. horny. I swear. Hold on. Horny. You horny. Bob and Hold weed. on. Horny. What, about? what? I'm confused. Okay. But Bob and Weave, y'all. I get thought it? you right. said, I nope, I was reading you totally wrong like the rest of the show. You've been being nasty. <laughs> you are freaky leaky love. What? You the it's freaky Liana. She, She's funny and freaky. This She's Spanish. Funny and then she freaky. go on that tequila and she get freaky. I'm not even on tequila. I'm, I'm like, married. I'm making y'all sure this the this funny one, this the freaky one. <laughs> funny and freaky, bitch. Hey. <laughs> All right. I got no more liquor. I got and where's my liquor? <laughs> Oh, we this is hilarious. All right, so we got a sec girl, you know, it ain't nothing, nothing in, in that fucking cup. <laughs> <laughs> Stop pouring that bitch. Look at me, crazy. Y'all doing y'all doing way too much. Hold on, it's the way she put it. I hold the fuck out of that She's here. That thing wasn't even on her leg. You need to focus on your cue card. Hey, that's hilarious. 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 Hey, that's she was dead ass serious. I was All right. serious as fuck. So we got a segment on the show called Guidance from the Gay Gods, right? Where um our viewers write in and ask us questions. They going through some things, so we're gonna give them some advice. All right, okay. let's give them some good advice, Egypt. All right. Well, I'm so, down, Egypt. person for advice. All right. <laughs> they said, "All right, gay gods." Okay. So here's the situation. I met a girl and she's checking almost all the boxes. It's been a fast and furious lesbian three weeks. Y'all know how that shit goes. That's three crazy. years. That, <laughs> three weeks. Three years. Oh, damn. God. And of course, I really like her. I found out that she lives with a roommate. Yep. Dun, 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 dun. Is All it right. a girl? 
Normally, not an issue because LA is expensive. It, look, Atlanta, we all got fucking roommates okay, too. I live right? in LA. Normally, an issue is normally not an issue because LA is expensive for some people. But she's a femme living with a stud that she used to fuck. Ooh. All right, she won't call her her uh, her ex because they were in a poly relationship. This too many layers. Oh, and the stud's this been living rent free for ten months. <laughs> what do y'all think? Should I take her serious? Why is the stud living rent free for, for 10, ten months? I really think you should just um not involve yourself in that entanglement. <laughs> Just give it a tangle. It's it's give, I mean, but if you want to have fun, I think it will be a really good entanglement. But it don't sound. It don't sound. Like it. <laughs> I really feel like it's gonna be a nice entanglement. Okay, is but she is that. Yes. Okay. It might be a fun entanglement. So she is stud. <laughs> a girl of film, but living with another stud. So that's stud for stud, right? No. What? The person that wrote in is a stud. Oh, okay. Right. And is talk. Talking to this girl, well, this femme, for okay, three weeks. She lived with a stud. stud. Lives with another That's stud. That's for stud if they were to be in a tangle. Ain't nobody talking about dumb fucking. All right. She's but she said entanglement, so okay, I thought like, we got All right. She's asking, should I take this girl serious or... Baby. I, I mean, for real, for real. I ain't even gonna lie. That's kind of still like... Hold up. What is a roommate that doesn't pay rent? You're not a roommate. They're taking care oh, of you. Oh, they don't pay rent? The stud don't pay rent, hasn't paid rent for 10 months. Oh, I already know what the other girl on. That's, that's her sugar daddy. She trying to get her to pay her rent. Sugar so, mama. Right. Nah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I yeah, yeah that's what it sounds like. Nah, honestly. If I get with you, you're going to take care of me and no. my nigga. Yeah. It no, don't seem like she got the confidence to even handle that because she already let her mind play tricks on her. If you I, don't, I don't think she should it, do it. She, it don't sound like it's a good mental thing for her. I don't think she should do it. Besides, she's driving herself crazy, even thinking like she wrote the show. Why is she, right? <laughs> why is the stud there? Why is the stud there for free rent? Like, if you gotta think that deep into it, that means you don't trust it, and you should go with your gut. I agree, but your mind's not playing tricks on you. It's the <laughs> fucking truth. All right. I'm on ten months. If, if that's if that's your, I'm what, trying to be a house stud. You went ten months. But I'm about, I'm 10 I'm about look. Free. I'm about if the person is going through a hardship for then, ten months. A hardship. But we don't know what she going through. She might broke a leg or some shit. Like the fuck, <laughs> bitch. Nah, you can work man. at your computer. Some, you can some, work from home. Some things got a timeline. Yeah, two months is too long. Disability? What? No. You, you got to go. I'm not gonna lie. First I never of all, had these problems. <laughs> okay, fair. I can't relate. If you going, relate. if you going into I'm trying this, to come out with some shit. <laughs> no, if you're going into this and already get her a massage. It, right. <laughs> get her a massage. Shit, I got a couple Done. of days for you. <laughs> Yo. If you already going into it and it look like that, don't think it's going to look any better, right. girl. Because once you try to get her to kick that girl out, it's going to be a, a mess. And you say <laughs> she's not in a relationship but they because they was poly. They was fucking. Poly but this fucking. is the thing. I'm not trying to poly be funny. She, she signed up for it. Because I don't think the other girl going to ever not want to be poly. Because I don't know. If I'm in something like that, I ain't going to never want to be with one person after a kid either. But that is true, though. If you <laughs> did know somebody was poly, realize who you're talking to. So because you know they might what's going on. Don't act like, brand new. It's kind of like you signing up for shit, so take yeah. whatever come with it. Right. right. Baby girl, and don't you think look. you can change somebody. If you're not with the poly, she's She shit, really think. trying to get you involved. Hello? Hey, you not seeing it? I'm actually, I fucks with your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. She is... She's doing what she's supposed to do. I hate you. <laughs> Make, All your right. Make your choice. Make your choice. Hey, yo, Y'all heard it. Man. We don't get the best guidance, but you get it from the gay guys. So you trust heard. and believe, you know what I'm saying, that you was a gay guy today. All right, Egypt. Thank you, Miss okay. Egypt. We appreciate you. Yeah, like, subscribe, and comment, y'all. You already know it's the No Homo Show. Hey. Yes. Bye, bitch. Whole lot of gay shit. Whole lot of gay, 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 gay. gay. I like that. Boss Brits. We certified. And DJ XL.